Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to find out the given question. Now, uh, here I need to find out the reduction formula for tan power n x. Okay, this is a series which I am doing. Like, it started with sine, cos. Now, we are here with tan. Fine. I hope you are not bored seeing me again and again. Fine. And uh, here. n is a positive integer and it is greater than or equal to 2 uh, once we find out the reduction formula we also have to find out uh, integral tan power 5x dx and integral tan power 6x dx fine so that's about it what they are asking us now i have with me krishna who is going to ask some questions in between ask some doubts in between and also answer my questions uh, i would love if you guys also interact and Participate in the questions which I am asking. Fine. Now, without any delay, let's get into the question. Solving the question. First, first step is to take the given integral as i n. Okay, i n is nothing but the integral tan power n x dx. Fine. Now next, this tan power n x dx I am going to write it as tan power n minus 2 x into tan square x. Fine. I already explained in my previous videos, but still I'll just in case if you are new to this, uh, I mean you have not seen the previous video. See. X power n can be written as x power n minus two into x square. This is totally okay, fine, fine. So that's why tan power n x can be written as tan power n minus two n minus two x into tan square x. You can assume like powers will get added and like ultimately I'm left out with the same thing, fine. Okay. Now next, write this tan square x as secant square x minus one. Okay. From basic it's basic trigonometry, fine. Uh, there is an identity which states that secant square x minus tan square x is one. So secant square x minus one is tan square x. Right? Now next, just multiply. Okay, just multiply like this into this minus this into one, like tan power n minus two x into one. Okay, now this is what I have. Next, split the integral. I mean, I should not say split. Like uh, since they are connected with minus, like these two terms are connected by minus, so integral will go to both. Fine. That's all I did. Okay. Hello. Now, if you see, if you see, I took integral tan power n x dx as i n. Okay. Then this is i n. Okay. See, this is matching the base like this n and n are matching. Now here I have integral tan power n minus two x. Then what should it be? Then what should it be? A question to your audience. Think. Integral tan power n x is i n. Integral tan power n minus two x would be what? Krishna, what do you say? He got the answer. It's n minus two. Fine. So i n minus two it would be here. It is i n. This will be this will be nothing but i n minus two. Okay. Chalo. Let's keep going. Now next next this secant square x dx. Okay. This secant square x dx. I want to write it as derivative of something. Okay. A question to your audience again. Whose derivative is secant square x? Basic differentiation question. Okay, uh, if possible, please pause the video here and write down your answer in the comments box so that we can interact through this uh, like uh, video. Fine, because I do not want it to be one-way talk. Okay, Krishna, you know the answer. Good, he knows it. It's derivative of tan x. So this would be nothing but derivative of tan x. And as I mentioned, this is nothing but you see, this I wrote it as i n minus two. This I wrote it as i n minus two. Okay, chalo. If you see, there is something interesting here. Like you see, if you observe, here I have tan power n minus two x. Okay, that I wrote it as tan x power n minus two. It is totally okay. Tan power n minus two x and tan x power n minus two, those two mean the same thing. Fine. Chalo. Now, if you observe, if you observe, observe carefully. Like this is this tan x whole power n minus two, and I have derivative of tan x also beside it. Okay. There's something special. I can I can use some formula for indefinite from indefinite integration. Now, what is that formula? What is that formula means? This is that formula. Okay, don't don't go to the go don't go to this now. First, understand the formula. See, what does this state that integral f of x power alpha? I mean, there is a function f of x. Okay, there is a function f of x, and it has some power alpha. Okay, some number. It has some power alpha. Okay. And beside it, there is f dash x. F dash x means derivative of f of x. Okay, 
if there is such a combination if there is such a combination then what do we get is we get f of x power alpha plus 1 this power plus 1 by power plus 1 and plus integration constant fine that's it now if you see why i why i mentioned it here means this is exactly matching with what i have see see observe f of x is what see f of x power alpha i have f of x power alpha if you see this is my alpha n minus 2 is my alpha and this is my f of x this is my f of x so f of x is tan x and i have f dash x means derivative of f of x d by dx of f of x that i have it here as d by dx of tan x so it's exactly matching with the way the formula works now what does what do i get on the rhs okay everything is matching in the lhs if that is the case if that is the case what should i get in the rhs in the RHS, I have f of x bar alpha plus 1. Here, my alpha is n minus 2. Here, my alpha is n minus 2 and f of x is tan x. So, that's why I have tan x power alpha plus 1. So, n minus 2 plus 1 by alpha plus 1. Again, n minus 2 plus 1. I have not written the integration constant here. Why? Because here, I have i n minus 2. So, successive integration will keep happening. So, you need not have to mention the integration constant right now at this stage. Okay. Fine. In the textbook also, they did not mention anything like that. So, just simplify it. So, n minus 2 plus 1. So, I would get n minus 1 by n minus 1. Tan x power. Here, this would be tan x power n minus 1. Okay. This is just a way of writing. This is nothing but tan x power n minus 1. But you see, in our textbook, they have followed the standard way of writing that tan power n minus 1x. So, I am going to stick to that. So, I get tan power n minus 1x by n minus 1. Minus i n minus 2. Okay. This was actually a bit short one if you compare with sine power nx reduction formula and cos power nx reduction formula. This is literally smaller than that. But yes, to back it up, to back up its shortage, we have uh, two things to find out. We need to find out integral tan power 5x. We also need to find out integral tan power 6x. Now, how to do that? Please stay tuned. Shallow. Now, for integral tan power 5x, we need to put n as 5. We need to put n as 5. Because you see, uh, I found out in. In means integral tan power nx. So tan for integral tan power 5x, I just need to put n as 5. I got this general formula. In that, I'm just going to put n as 5. Okay. So if you put n as 5, uh, so I'll get i5. Okay. i5. Not high 5. i5. Okay. <laughs> i5 is nothing but tan power 5 minus 1x by 5 minus 1 minus i5 minus 2. Okay. Uh, just wherever you see n, just replace it with 5. That's all I've done. Okay, in case you are getting any doubts, you are feeling that, okay, I'm not getting enough clarity, please do comment in the comments box. I'll try my best to help you out there. So let's now simplify this. So if, I, if we simplify this, so i5 will be tan power 4x by 4 minus i3. Hooray! Now a puzzle for you. Okay. For tan power 5, I mean, I found out i5 by substituting n as 5 in the reduction formula. Now, how will I get i3? How to get i3? Hmm. I simple. <laughs> See, just you know, in the same thing, okay, in the same thing, uh, just put n as 3. You have your i3, fine. I was just joking a little. <laughs> so, in the same formula, I just put n as uh, 3. So, I have tan power 3 minus 1 x by 3 minus 1 minus i3 minus 2, okay. So, fine, tan square x by 2. I have 3 minus 1 is 2, so tan power 2x is nothing but tan square x. Just another way of saying that. Multiply this minus, so minus tan square x by 2 plus i1 I would have. So that's what I have here. Hello. Now i1, i1, how to find out i1? Hmm. For that, what you guys can do is, you can just recollect what we have done so far. Like if you see, I took i n as integral tan power n x dx. So i1 is nothing but integral tan power 1x dx. That basically means that integral tan power 1x is nothing but tan x. So i1 is integral tan x dx. Fine. Now a basic question to all of you audience. What is integral tan x? If possible, pause the video and put your answer in the comments box. Fine. Krishna, do you know the answer? Uh, as always, Krishna knows the answer. So, log mod secant x plus, now our integration is done, so I am putting the constant here, fine, wait, question is not done yet, we need to find out integral tan power 6x dx also, ah, I know things are, these are tough and a bit lengthy also, but what to do, 
but this won't feel that much tough if you spend enough time with them fine now for integral tan power 6 dx put n as 6 and 1 what was that one i showed you right the reduction formula i n is equal to something so in place of n i just put 6 so in case if you are having, having any doubts okay i'll just show it to you see this is the formula for an integral tan power 5x uh, i got i put n as 5 for integral tan power 6x i put and i'm gonna put n as 6 so i6 i'm gonna find out i6 okay Chalo. i know if you guys feel that i'm going a bit slow you can just increase this video speed i'm going a bit slow because this topic is generally taken taken as tough or assumed to be tough by many so that's why i'm gonna going slow so that they have enough time to comprehend what i'm trying to make them understand okay hello so that's what i have here tan power 6 minus 1x guys so tan power 5x by 5 minus i4 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 it's pretty simple right you know the logic so in that same equation just put n i uh, n as 4 so this is what i have simplify it i have it now multiply minus minus tan cube x by 3 plus i2 now for i2 again put 2 in what i had showed you uh, okay uh, this is where i have uh, in the same equation i just put n as 2 so tan power 2 minus 1x tan power 1x is nothing but tan x by 1 okay i know you guys might be feeling bored but please stay with me i'm trying my best to make sure that you won't get bored by the fact that you're not understanding now tan x by 1 can be written as just tan x and i naught is nothing but x i naught is nothing but x so minus x plus integration constant that's it Chalo, we are done successfully and thank you very much audience but being very patient it requires a lot of patience to learn something i'm happy that you have that as you are staying with me up till the end of this video this clearly means that you are patient enough to gain knowledge fine and in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos not just this question, I've, in fact, I've covered questions from other topics as well, like circles, definite integration, theory of equations, binomial theorem. So please do check out the different playlists. Hope you'll find some of them in the description and some of them you can just browse through my channel. Fine. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.